Hello there, my beautiful, magical family. Welcome to Moonlight Awakening. My name is Catalina. And I really wanted to speak about this topic to today that makes me so excited. <laughs> Literally excited. And you will know why. When you start really connecting to children, they're going to blow your mind literally you know um you have to be willing just to you know you know for them to be able to open up to you you know with you know with no judgment you know just with an open heart you know knowing that they can trust you you know anything that they want to you know share with you okay but first things first i just want to add when i'm when i went to mexico i just found out that my two-year-old cousin she um i was we were hanging out together again when i was it was in mexico my little nephew's cousins they would just want to hang out with me oh <laughs> yeah the kids just love hanging out with me okay and so we we're hanging out together me and her and she pointed at uh, at, at our deceased grandpa and I said, yeah, it is him. And and then it, and then I, I asked her mom, you know, my aunt. It's like, how, like did, she, did you even tell him about, you know, our grandpa? She's like, no, I have no idea where. It's like she sees him, things like that. I was like, that is so cool. She might not even remember that when, you know, when she gets older, that how she used to see our deceased grandpa. But... I'll remind her <laughs> so anyway yeah how cool is that okay and he actually died I think like five years ago so yeah and she's two so yeah they have never met in the physical okay so anyway when I recently went to Mexico I got to meet some of my um, nephews nieces cousins um, I really got to really know them you know uh, because you know I was there for longer so and I recently came back from Mexico so you know so this is just fresh in my memory of of things that I found that I just wanted to share with you all you know and knowing that they feel comfortable talking to me about it they felt like you know I was going to judge them I was there with an open heart you know and they could trust me whatever they they wanted to share with me so I felt really you know honored for them to feel like that you know and knowing that I will you know that I will have an open mind so I'm just glad that they shared it with me and I'm gonna share it with you guys okay so anyway I just you know I went to Mexico right uh, recently and I just for the first time I got to meet my five year old nephew um, for the first time we have never met in person and and I could tell he was one of the sun babies you know the new children that are coming into this earth he's definitely one of them while I was staying with him you know for a couple of days you know um, out of the blue he said it was it was one night he says oh God is right there he was like facing the ceiling and he was looking at it I was like you know, I didn't, at the time, I didn't want to ask, you know, further questions because, you know, you know, they were in, you know, my, my aunt or her grandma will be in the room or my mom. And I was like, I just didn't want to ask him anything, especially if they're not open-minded like I am, you know? So I just, I just waited, you know, to eventually ask him further questions. So those times when it was just me and him, I will have a chance to really ask him questions about, you know, if he sees anything, if he hears anything. So one night, I asked, so do you see things? Um, and he said, yes, I see things all the time. It's like, mm, what kind of things? And he said, um, I, seen, I seen my great grandparents. And, I said, do you know their names? He told me, and then he eventually told me their names. 
and I said do you feel good when when they are around you and he said yeah yes I do so then I said whenever you feel afraid you know or alone or you know or or sad you can always call on them you know if you you know to make them to make you feel better okay so then you know days passed and then one day we were hanging out at the plaza it was just me and him things like that he just again he just loves hanging out with me children just love hanging out with me <laughs> and we were looking at the moon and I asked him so so you see God and he said yes he's right there and and then eventually he said now God is right in front of us he was like looking at this I was like oh and then I asked um, what about angels do you see angels he said yes and like my angels are my brother and sister I'm like keep this in mind um, he he has no other brothers and sister in the physical he has no brothers and sisters he is the only child that my cousin has well I don't know if she's gonna have any more children in the future mm, I'm feeling that more likely she's gonna have more children in the future that's what I feel okay cuz cousin I know she's she speaks Spanish so she's not gonna watch this but yeah you're definitely gonna have more children cousin so anyway so and I said like because he said that like they didn't make it here they, they didn't they didn't make it to the physical realm just him that's why they're angels he told me I was like wow I even got the goosebumps man I have the goosebumps oh my gosh Ugh. okay so anyway um and then I asked do you know their names you know he was thinking about it and then he said well my brother's name has the same name as as him and then he said his sister has the same name as me I was like oh look at that how cool is that you know and well that's what I told him I think I thought that was pretty cool you know we have each other same name and then he started to also point at the sky look they're right there they're right there looking at us I was like wow yeah yes they are you know um, and then we were when we were heading back home while we were in the car um, he 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 asked me I can show you how to communicate with God I was like okay like how do you communicate with God you know like because you know it just it's just so interesting to learn about the knowledge of what these children receive right so I was very curious the way he communicates with God so I was very excited to know so when we finally got to the house um, he started to show me like a movement and with moving the hands too we did a movement we moved our body we, we moved our hands and then we and then we will keep repeating the same phrase over and over again doing the same movement and the same body movement and everything okay and then you know and, and, and the thing is, it might look kind of silly to some people, but when it comes to light language, you know, you have to throw the ego out of the way, you know, and ch young children have no ego, but an adult, they're going to think, well, this is silly, this is nothing, but it's not, it's not nothing, it's something, okay, just, you know, um, so anyway, so, you know, children have no ego, right? And you can really learn things from them too. You can really learn learn from them to really tap into your into your innocence. You know, when you tap into your innocence, there's no ego. There's no ego. You trust what you're feeling. You trust what you're seeing. You don't doubt it. You okay? So, you know, th these beautiful, you know, children that I got to meet, you know, for the, you know, some of them for the first time, it just you know they really taught me a lot during that my healing period after you know after my breakup you know so it was it was wonderful so anyway um when i started to do the movement you know and the phrase that we keep repeating i was literally feeling the power and energy of this i 
my whole body was being covered in chills it was so powerful uh, you know um it was really it was making me vibrate really high i should i say us we were vibrating really high you know we were connecting with each other um he he, he even showed me the chill that he was that he was having on his arms like look 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 i was like yes me too you know it was just so exciting you know after finishing after after we finished doing the movement you know with the phrase then he said okay now you can ask god for anything he's right here i was like okay um and it just i don't i just it was just so magical because like at the same time you know i was going through some healing i was going through some darkness so for me to know that like god is right here and i directly called the like to be right here right in front of me you know i just it was so awesome i was like oh and <clears throat> it was oh again it's so exciting <clears throat> anyway so yeah, as you can tell i'm so excited you know and then he said do you want to know what i asked him like wow what did you ask him he said i asked him to protect you i was like oh thank you he's so sweet and then eventually he, he was telling me oh my I, I i see my brother and sister are here i see my great grandparents that are here i see orbs he was seeing all kinds of things so there was a lot of spirit energy around us when we were doing that movement when we were when we were connecting you know to father mother god and eventually again we i was just like I keep doing it more and more and more. We were doing it more and more. Eventually, I started to see things too. I started to really buy very, really high to start seeing things. You know, I was near him. I could see like this different color size orbs, and like, and then these orbs were they had like bluish and 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 whitish in these orbs too. And eventually, he saw them too right near me. Then, like, I guess. Then eventually those same orders then they moved on my side so eventually he said he, he he pretty much validated that for me what i saw was real because he's eventually he saw them too so that was pretty cool and then eventually the more we kept doing it the more we were connecting he eventually said oh my gosh now there's a, bl a flame right above my head and then eventually he told me now there's now the flame is on top of your head i was like there's a flame i was like okay so now you know what i did oh my gosh this is so exciting okay so what i did i was like when the flame was above my head i just i called it in i absorbed the flame energy the fire element to be absorbed into my body i brought i brought it in you know and my body was covered in chills man i couldn't have like it was so like powerful i couldn't just oh it was so amazing that's what i'm telling you guys start connecting with young children they're they'll surprise you okay they might even activate you not joking and the thing is he's a leo leos are a fire sign right so obviously he brought in his element so so that was pretty amazing and uh, it was just so powerful that that night i was literally mind blown and i even show him like a little bit of my light language and what i do and, and i told him well this is what i do you know um and yeah so we were kind of sharing each other's you know light language um he even let me record him you know so i can remember what he showed me and how to connect directly to to you know to source so um so yeah and i might share it with my with my members one day that's what i'm thinking of but we'll see yeah it was amazing so then you know um and eventually i got to meet another cousin of mine you know she's a teenager and you know i just um again no parents are in there in the same room no there's no parents around okay and here's where i started to start a conversation with her you know we're just talking about a game just to start you know something and eventually she began to ask me 
Do you ever get information that just comes to you? And I was, and I was like, um, what do you mean? And then she began to give me an example, an example of her. She said that sometimes, like, she receives information that she has never read about. And, and, and then she eventually she looks it up and then it's true you know she even said that like she even asked me if I remember my past my previous life because she remembers hers I was like wow I was like I was sort of like where 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 are we going with this like I was I was started to get real oh my god I was already started to get really excited like where the conversation was leading I was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I just kept listening you know, she's definitely a star seed. My cousin, definitely a star seed. So, and then I told her, you know, when she asked me, do I remember my pre previous life? And I said, well, what I do know, I told her, I felt like I have, I've had a past life in Egypt and that I've seen myself as a seraphim angel. Um, I've seen my higher self, um, uh, being you know Illyrian um, again one of my higher self is Illyrian so it was just like you know we were really getting to that topic and then we had a conversation about oh my god we used to have a conversation a little bit about everything about reincarnation about how earth we came to this earth you know to learn to grow you know earth is our school about manifestation about like you know karmic contracts you know removing yourself from karmic contracts it was just like so how do you think i felt H having someone that like when you meet someone like that that is family that oh. and then she also brought up that she's like yeah i feel like i'm also a white witch i was like me too i was, I was like oh my God. I was just the, the the conversation was so mind blown. It's just like, damn! I just need to talk to her more often, you know. I was like, oh, the, it just she blew my freaking mind. I was like, oh my gosh! And then, um, you know, she even told me she even remembers coming out of her mom's womb. Literally, she said, clear as day, like I can still see it. I was like, wow wow like the, the entire the entire time we had like i think um we just it was just mind-blown conversation man i was like damn it was you were so really like digging into that topic oh my gosh it was amazing I was, that's what i'm telling you guys start connecting with them you you'll be freaking mind blown i was clearly I'm just so grateful that I went to Mexico. Oh my gosh, I've been told her to write every, all the information she's receiving, to write it down in a notebook. Have her, to have her own individual notebook and write everything that she's receiving. I even told her that too. But yes, I just feel like it wasn't, I feel like Mexico wasn't just a trip. It was more than that. Clearly, more than that. I would just, I just feel very grateful to Spirit for taking me, ex like, taking me there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it was just, oh my gosh. Not only that, you know, there was another, um, our nephew that is also a teenager. He's like, well, he's like, I think he's like 18 years old. He was hearing us talk. So he even said he also believed in, car in reincarnation too, because he said he was, he, Sometimes he will get these dreams or like he dreamt that he died in a car crash, you know, that's why he believes in reincarnation. I was like, damn, <laughs> that's crazy. I was like, but yeah, and eventually me and her started talking about, you know, like it was just, wow, just getting to know them, uh, like, and for them to feel comfortable talking to me, you know, with no parents allowed because we know how our parents can be you know so um so again you know try connecting with with you know with your children and if you have any children connect with them you know or connect you know try connecting with your cousins your nephews or your friend's kid you know 
you know, and, and see what kind of things you're going to learn from them. And what are they going to teach you? What kind of knowledge are they going to share with you? You know, they they were they will freaking search they will shock you they shook me they literally shocked me for sure and it was so amazing like literally clearly because you just heard my story so um or maybe you already have well let me know in the comments you know tell me what what did your cousin or nephew or your friend's kid told you you know and i, I, I just want to read your guys's comments and if you haven't yet like are you going to do it you know are you going to ask your nephews let me know or or um i don't know like when, once you do ask them ask them oh please i would love to know what did they tell you <laughs> you know <sighs> yes that's what i'm telling you start connecting with them and yeah wow that's all i can say wow it was so amazing so anyway guys i will talk to you guys later and until next time